An electric motor is a device that converts electrical energy into mechanical energy. It is one of the most important inventions in modern technology, powering countless devices and machines that we use in our daily lives, ranging from small appliances like fans and mixers to large machines like washing machines, electric cars, and even industrial robots. A motor works on the principle of magnetism. To visualize this, imagine two magnets. If one of them is allowed to spin about an axis and you bring the north pole of the other magnet close to it, the two north poles will repel each other. The spinning magnet will try to align itself so that its south pole faces the north pole of the fixed magnet. Now, if you bring the south pole of the first magnet near the second, they will again repel. If you keep switching the poles near the spinning magnet, it will continue to rotate. This simple idea is the foundation behind how electric motors work. In actual motors, the spinning magnet is replaced by an electromagnet. An electromagnet is made by winding a coil of wire around a core material. When electric current passes through the coil, it generates a magnetic field, one end acts like a north pole and the other like a south pole. If the direction of the current is reversed, the poles also switch. By continuously reversing the current, the poles of the electromagnet keep flipping, which causes continuous rotation. This automatic switching of current direction is what keeps the motor spinning smoothly without needing manual input. To reverse the current at the right moment, special rings are connected to the coil. In DC motors, a device called a commutator or split ring is used to reverse the direction of current in the coil every half turn. This ensures that the torque or rotational force always pushes the coil in the same direction. In AC motors, slip rings are used instead. Since alternating current already changes direction on its own, slip rings simply provide a continuous electrical connection between the stationary and rotating parts without needing to reverse current manually. These rings are crucial, they maintain the flow of electricity to the coil while allowing it to spin freely. I hope this explanation helps you understand more about electric motors and how they works. For related videos click the i button, or follow the link in the description. Thank you for watching.